Hey, it's Sean with iWashYouDry.com and today we're gonna be making a delicious, quick and easy comfort food. It's my classic meatloaf. It's perfect for any busy weeknights. It has a delicious glaze that goes over the top. It's moist, juicy, and just what you need tonight. Let's get going. Now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, we're just gonna add everything to a large bowl and use some clean hands to get in there and mix it all together. Start with two pounds of lean ground beef. Add in a half a cup of diced onion, one cup of breadcrumbs, two teaspoons parsley, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and two eggs. And now for my secret ingredient that really takes the meatloaf to the next level, it's barbecue sauce. I'm just using my favorite barbecue sauce here. You use your favorite barbecue sauce because that's really what's gonna make it your own. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my ring right now. Make sure you wash your hands after you touch any sort of raw meat. So this is a free form meatloaf where we're not using a pan. We're gonna shape it into a loaf that's about eight inches long and four inches wide. And if you're not a fan of seeing those big chunks of onion, you can either sub out the diced onion for some onion powder or just give it a nice fine dice before you um, add it in. We're gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees, and then we're gonna bump up the temperature after we put on our glaze. So let's get it in. Just before the meatloaf comes out, we're gonna whip up a quick and easy, just three ingredient glaze that's gonna go over the top, and then we're gonna pop it back in the oven for a few more minutes to get it finished. You just need two tablespoons of brown sugar, one third cup of ketchup, and just one teaspoon of prepared yellow mustard. Okay. All right, let's pull that meatloaf out of the oven. Pour the glaze over the top of the meatloaf and then use a pastry brush to get it all over the sides. All right, now I'm just gonna pop this back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. <laughs> oh boy, I wish there was smell-o-vision because it smells amazing in here right now. All you have to do is just let this rest for another five to 10 minutes before slicing it so it remains nice and juicy. All right, who's excited for meatloaf? I know I am. Let's give this a slice. It is so juicy. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, mm. that glaze is seriously one of my favorites. You're gonna love that secret ingredient in there, but enough talking, let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. This seriously reminds me of my childhood. It is 
so good and so comforting. We love to pair this classic beet loaf with some mashed potatoes. Any sort of a steamed vegetable would be great as well. I seriously hope you try this and enjoy it. Look for more great recipes like this on my site, iwashydry.com, and we'll see you soon.